Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanita and on this channel I talk about spirituality, the law of attraction, personal development, things like that. So if you want to become a better version of yourself, if you want to create the life of your wildest dreams, then join this beautiful spiritual family. Today I have a wild story for you guys. We're going to talk about a scientifically unexplained phenomenon that is going to blow your mind and prove to you that your consciousness has an immense amount of power over your physical body. Without further ado, let's get into today's story. So the main character of today's story is Itigelov Dashi Dorja. Itigelov was born on May 13, 1852, and he died, and you'll understand why I say that in just a moment, on June 15, 1927. Itigelov was the spiritual leader of Buddhists in Eastern Siberia. Now, at the time of his death, he wasn't the leader. He stepped down several years prior to that for unknown reasons. Maybe he was preparing for this big experiment that he was going to do that I'm going to tell you about, but he was no longer the leader at that particular time. There was already another leader. So on June 15th, 1927, it was the full moon when Itigelov invited some of his closest people in and told them that he has something to share with them. On this day, he was planning to enter Samadhi, which is a meditative state of consciousness and never leave it, basically. He told his followers, who were also a part of the monastery where he lived and worked, that he was going to enter a meditative state and that they need to write down certain instructions on what to do with his body once he reaches enlightenment. He told his followers that he was going to meditate and they were to observe him until he reaches Nirvana. When he reaches Nirvana, they were supposed to pick him up, they were supposed to keep his posture as it is. He was meditating in your conventional lotus pose and they were supposed to put him in a sarcophagus made of cedar tree and bury him. I have no clue how they were supposed to know when he reached nirvana, but these are Buddhist monks, so I'm sure their intuitive abilities are very developed and they probably knew right away. But anyway, they did what he said and they also followed a couple of other instructions that he gave to them. Now, before we get into the story, obviously there are two ways in which this can go according to your average person. Itigelov could be meditating and then his followers buried him alive and then he died because of the lack of oxygen once he was buried. The second scenario is Itigelov actually dies during his meditation and when he's buried, he's already dead, so he would start decomposing like a normal person. But this isn't what happens. So Itigelov also told them to unbury him and open the sarcophagus to check on him on two particular dates. And if on these particular dates they notice any sign of human body decomposition, they were supposed to cremate him. If he was still okay, if he was not decomposing, they were supposed to keep him buried underneath the ground for 75 years and then in 2002 they were supposed to reveal him to the public as this phenomenon. He said that this would be his big comeback. Now I don't really think that he meant that he was going to like wake up and walk as a normal human being. I think that he just meant that he was going to kind of come back to the public in his physical form as per se. So obviously the monks who were there on the date of Itigelov's passing away, if you can even call this a passing away, did everything as he instructed. They brought up the sarcophagus on the two occasions that he told them to do so and they checked for the signs of body decomposition. When they saw that the body was not decomposing, they left him there for 75 years and in 2002, they revealed him to the public. So obviously this was a huge event. It was a very, very big ceremony because obviously 
nobody really knew what was happening to Itigelov's body. Now the monks were not allowed to like check on him every single day and just make sure that he's still not decomposed. They were not allowed to touch him outside of the two dates that he mentioned. So even they didn't know what was happening to his body until the ceremony. Now during the ceremony, his body was revealed to the public and everybody was absolutely shocked to see that he didn't decompose. After 75 years of being buried underneath the ground, he was still sitting in his lotus pose, his skin, his body showed no signs of decomposition, he just kind of looked like a mummy. Now obviously this was a huge boom and nobody could understand what exactly happened there. Scientific community in Russia and all over the world had a lot of interest in exhuming the body and just conducting some experiments on it. A lot of people, especially people in the scientific community, were very skeptical. They thought that this was all an organized fraud. They thought that maybe the body of Itigelov was embalmed and maybe he was mummified in a certain manner that would allow his body to be this preserved after 75 years. Shortly after Itigelov's body was revealed, a research institution in Russia was given a permission to investigate. So they were allowed to take samples of Itigelov's hair, his skin, his nails. They were also allowed to check the body for movability. This scientific research lasted for three years and I'm now going to tell you what they were able to find out. The first thing that the research showed was that there was no embalming of any kind. Now, if you don't know what embalming is, and I'm not going to explain it from the best scientific perspective possible, but it's basically just putting a body in a certain mixture of chemicals that doesn't allow it to decompose in a manner that it would decompose normally. Now, I know they do it to famous and infamous people just to kind of preserve them, to observe them, I guess. I honestly don't know. But I have been to a museum in Russia where Lenin is actually embalmed and he basically looks just like um, a mannequin of Lenin lying there, even though it's his actual body. Obviously, all the organs were removed, he was embalmed, he's preserved, and he's going to stay there for God knows how long. I honestly don't know why anyone would want to embalm Lenin. Like, why are you interested in seeing Lenin's body? But I was there, it's like a tourist attraction, so, you know, it is what it is. The second thing that the research showed was that all of Itigelov's organs, external and internal, were intact. They were completely free of any sort of injury, decomposition, or even any sort of sign of any illness. A molecular analysis was done on Itigelov's skin tissue, and it was found that his protein cells were still intact, they were still there, the count was normal, so his skin was basically alive. It showed no sign of any sort of even minor decomposition. Moreover, it was shown that the elasticity of Itigel of skin was still normal and his joints were still movable. Now, I didn't know that before, I only found that out maybe a couple of months ago, but apparently when someone dies, their joints become unmovable, so it's very important to kind of position a dead body in a certain manner in which you want it to be positioned quickly after their death because it would be very hard to do so because of the joints, they become unmovable. Now with Itigelov, it is obviously very different. He's not stuck in a lotus pose. He's not mummified in a lotus pose. His joints are perfectly movable. His body is literally still alive. There's no sign of illness or injury or decomposition. So this is what blows everyone's minds. Nobody, even after three years of investigation, even the scientists couldn't tell you what happened to Itigelov. Let me just give you a comparison of Itigelov's decomposition, which didn't happen, to a normal person's decomposition. When a normal body is buried in a coffin, which is made from wood, it decomposes within eight to 12 weeks. Two to three months until it decomposes completely to a skeleton. Itigelov was dead. I don't know if you can say dead because there was no sign of 
bodily death as per se, but Itigelov was technically dead for 75 years. At this point, it's over 90 years and his body didn't decompose. Once again, it takes a normal body 8 to 12 weeks to decompose to a skeleton. He hasn't decomposed at all and this is what blows everyone's minds nobody can explain this phenomenon i think this is pretty much all there is to the story i have always wondered what happened to him is he still meditating or is he dead if he is meditating is his consciousness still somewhat attached to his body like he joined collective consciousness he reached nirvana and enlightenment but he's still somewhat observing his body i don't know or is he dead did he completely leave his body and his body just doesn't decompose because he was such an enlightened individual and he was able to you know convince his subconscious mind his body to behave in a way that he wanted it to behave i know that the local people tend to believe that he's still meditating i don't think they believe that he died but once again what is death in the spiritual community we consider death to be the end of the physical body but here there's clearly no end of the physical body so even him leaving the body technically is not really death right i don't know let me know what you guys think do you think he's still meditating do you think he's dead do you have any weird explanation for this phenomenon obviously i said science can't explain it but maybe you have some esoteric explanation of this phenomenon obviously even though we can't explain this phenomenon it shows us that we have power over our bodies our consciousness is so much more powerful than our bodies that we can dictate a manner in which it decomposes or doesn't decompose i think this is it i have for today please let me know what you guys think about the story down in the comments i would love to hear what you think i would love to hear if you heard the story from the first time from me because i know not a lot of western people really know about it thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and stick around for the next one bye